Sharon Clark will never forget the day she met Giovanni Vigliotto. She was working in Indiana as the manager of a large flea market. Early one morning, he walked into her office. I would like to rent some space at the flea market. I have a lot of used things to sell. Do you have any space? Yes, I do. When the flea market closed at the end of the day, Giovanni invited Sharon to have dinner with him. Would you like to have dinner with me tonight? Sharon was 43 years old, divorced, and little bit lonely. Oh, I'd love to. For the next four months, Sharon saw Giovanni often. He was not a handsome man, he was short and heavy, but he was intelligent, polite, and kind. She fell in love with him. Will you marry me? Sharon thought it over. Don't do it. You don't know him well enough. Do it. Take the chance. Sharon listened to her heart. Yes, I will. After they got married, Giovanni had an offer for Sharon. I want to move to Canada. I have a beautiful house there. Let's sell our house and move to Canada. That sounds like a good idea. I always wanted to live in Canada. Sharon sold her house and made a profit of $55,000. She wanted to take her furniture to Canada, so she and Giovanni rented a truck. I'll drive the truck and you can drive your car. You would better give me the $55,000. It's dangerous for a woman to travel with that much money. You're right. On the way from Indiana to Canada, Giovanni told Sharon, I have to stop in Ohio on business. You go on ahead. I'll meet you at Casablanca Hotel in Toronto. Giovanni never arrived at the hotel. At first, Sharon was worried. Maybe Giovanni was in an accident. She called the police in Ohio. Good afternoon. This is Sharon Vigliotto. My husband was in Ohio and we were supposed to meet at Casablanca Hotel in Toronto this morning. But he didn't arrive. I'm concerned if he's all right. What's your husband's name, ma'am? Giovanni Vigliotto. Can you spell the last name, ma'am? V as Victor, I as an iron, G as great, L as a lemon, I as iron, O as oil, T as a trip, double T, and O as oil. What's his date of birth? March 10th, 1970. Okay, ma'am. Can I reach you at this number? Yep. I'll let you know as soon as possible. Two hours later, Sharon got a phone call. Hello, Miss Vigliotti. This is Officer Kasim. Mr. Vigliotti wasn't in an accident or involved in any crime. Thank you, officer. So where was Giovanni? He was gone, and so was her furniture and her money. Sharon was angry. She wanted her money and for her furniture back. She wanted to find Giovanni. Hmm, I met him at a flea market. Maybe he is at a flea market. For months, Sharon went to flea markets all over the United States. Have you ever seen this man here? No, I haven't. Have you ever seen this man here? No, I haven't. At a flea market in Florida, she found Giovanni. He was selling used furniture. Some of it was hers. Sharon called the police. Good morning. I want to notify a theft. My husband has disappeared with my $55,000 and the furniture of my house. Now he's selling my furniture at Florida Flea Market. His name is Giovanni Vigliotto. We'll be there in 10 minutes, ma'am. When the police arrested Giovanni, Sharon's story was in newspapers and on TV. Giovanni Vigliotto approached Sharon Clark, the manager of the biggest flea market in Indiana, as a seller. Four months after Giovanni met Sharon, they got married. Giovanni wanted to move to Canada. Sharon sold her house and gave the $55,000 to Giovanni. Sharon took her car, Giovanni took the truck, and Sharon's furniture. They agreed on meeting in Canada, but Giovanni never showed up. 
Sharon found Giovanni at Florida flea market selling her furniture. The police arrested him at the flea market this morning. A woman in New Jersey called the police. Giovanni is my husband. Then another woman called the police. No, he is my husband. And another. No, he is my husband. And another. No, Giovanni is my husband. All the women told similar stories. They met Giovanni at a flea market. They sold their houses. He took their furniture and money. All together, 105 women were married to Giovanni. A judge sentenced Giovanni to 34 years in prison. I want you to stay in prison for a long time. I want to be sure there will be no wife number 106.